Tony, growing up in a basketball family, your dad played, your brother, brothers played. Was it your dream to play in the NBA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that journey <laughs> obviously. Like? Yeah, what was that journey like to getting you to San Antonio? Well, I never thought in my wildest dream that I'll be uh, living 20 years in Texas and loving it and being in a Hall of Fame today. It sounds like amazing. <laughs> like, it sounds crazy, uh, to be honest, because uh, I grew up uh, in France. Uh, I grew up in Normandy, a little city uh, with 20,000 people. And uh, back in the day, uh, European basketball was not very famous. You know, in the States, it was very hard to go in the NBA and growing up. Uh, I always told everybody that I wanted to play in the NBA. Uh, my dad is American from Chicago, so we were big Bulls fans. Uh, I was a Michael Jordan fan. And so everybody thought I was crazy in France when I said I wanted to play in the NBA. They said I was too small, too skinny, I will never make it. Uh, until the Spurs drafted, drafted me when I was 19. So I had no idea about Texas. They didn't know where it was, uh, especially San Antonio. I had no idea where it was San Antonio. <laughs> the only thing I knew was David Robinson, because my, li my little brother is, is lefty, and uh, his favorite player was David. David. And, uh, and so that's how it happened. You know, then I was in the NBA. It's pretty cool. So it's hard enough to win one NBA title, and y'all won four. So what's the secret to I'm establishing... Still I'm still mad, by the way. Sorry to cut you. I'm still mad at Coach Pop that he substitute Timmy and then put me on Chris, you know, and I can't take the <laughs> rebound. I'm five foot. I'm five foot. These That's seven foot fair. is not that fair. That is not fair. <laughs> and I can't get the rebound and then we lose that championship. <laughs> But it's okay. Uh, I'll take four. It's fine. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from San Antonio, so I remember that. So tell me about establishing the winning culture there with the Spurs, and especially with so many different players from different countries. How do you work those team dynamics? Well, it starts, you know, obviously with Coach Pop, you know, uh, the mentality over there. Uh, congrats on him beating the record, you know, uh, last night. Um, he brought, you know, that culture and, uh, and that work ethic uh, every day. Uh, it was not easy because, you know, he's from Serbia, you know, he's very crazy and screaming and cursing every day. But me coming from France, I, I was used to it because in Europe, you know, they, they always scream, those coaches, you know, they're a little bit crazy. But me and Manu, you know, we were used to it. And so Coach Pop was able to, to implement that. And then Timmy, obviously, was an unbelievable superstar, unselfish, and uh, uh, was willing to share. And Tim so, Duncan he's talking about yes, when Timmy, he says yes, Timmy. Sorry, Tim, <laughs> Tim Duncan, sorry. And so uh, after that, you know, once you have Coach Pop and, and uh, us three, you know, following his lead, um, it was easy for everybody to, you know, um, follow that way. And, uh, and uh, all we wanted is to, to win. Uh, we were very unselfish. That was the key. It was really uh, no egos uh, in our team.